Um, okay, well, <laughs> we're moving a little fast here. Why are you so close to me, sir? If I can smell your breath, you're too close to me. A scandal with the prince gets you fired from your job. But what happens when you're the wild card contestant on the hottest new reality show, The Royal Bachelor? Yes, you know what time it is. It is time for a new story. We need some new drama, some new spice to read. It was between this story and another story, but let me tell you my reason why I picked this one. Some of y'all love the whole royal romance, and I must say I do too, give a little fantasy in there. But second of all, it's written by Regina, one of my favorite authors. I adore her. And third, a reality show. And also, can we talk about how this, the first part, we get fired from our job because of something with the prince. But now we're on this reality TV show, so we're gonna be trying to win him over again, the same person who got us fired? Interesting, very interesting. Also, you know reality show stories, you know what that means, mess. That lets us be messy. I'm ready for drama with the contestants. Give me our enemies, give me our frenemies. I'm ready to ruin them. But let's jump into this and see if we like it and see if we want to read the whole story. You guys let me know if you enjoy it and want me to continue reading it. Please consider giving the video a like because it really helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. Go read the amazing author Regina's stories on the episode app. And without further ado, let's start the royal drama. Are you sure you've got everything, honey? Yes, mom. This is you before we dive in. Okay, let's, let's customize. Honestly, I really didn't change her. She was kind of serving for me from the get-go. I, I was going to change the hair color because the whole like ash blonde, I was like, ooh, I don't know about this. But the more I looked at it, I was like, I feel this is very fitting for this reality TV show competition. This is Ivory Graham. The name Ivory came to me because her hair color just popped up and then Graham. I couldn't think of a last name and I ate some graham crackers earlier, so Ivory Graham it is. I triple checked everything mom today marks as the day i start living for myself ever since i was young all i ever dreamed of was telling my stories in hollywood and today marks is the start of it you don't have to take the job because it's in hollywood you're a writer how are you gonna work as an errands girl oh he cra <laughs> he crashed <laughs> He brought us back down to reality real quick. Well, we all must start somewhere. It's the start. It's something. Once I'm in Hollywood, I'll make my way up in no time. I, I doubt it, but sh okay. Oh, oh, we're just not very supportive, are we? <laughs> we're just not very supportive. And that's how risks cause with parents because we're not being supportive here. It's time for my flight, so I'll get going. Our mom seems nice, but I ever remember your promise. If your dreams don't find their direction in one year's time, you will come back. Okay, I remember. I want you to have some faith in me. Okay, it's given very much like, we want you to flop. I want you to flop to come home. It's not given what it needs to give. It needs to give support. Anyway, after we left that dusty behind, this airport is so fancy. I've never seen anything like this before. Oh no, I won't get my accommodation for another three hours. Maybe I can use that time to explore this airport. Okay, oh, ooh, ooh, that looks good. Oh, $10 for a single cupcake? Never mind. Never mind. Keep the cupcake. A single cupcake for $10? Okay. You can keep the cupcake. This one, please. That's my last... You want to spend that last $10 on a cupcake? But I believe this... How about a bottle of water? But this treat will be worth it. I hope so, because it was the last $10. Coming from Fredericksburg, Texas to Los Angeles was a dream, but everyone called me stupid to believe that I could actually do it. What the... Someone walks straight into me making me drop my cupcake. Sir, that was $10. That was $10. Can you please pick up that cupcake? I turn around to face a stranger who just bumped into me and made me waste my expensive desserts. But words get lost when I see his face. They definitely got lost. The words are definitely getting lost right now. We gave him a little edit. You know, we gave him a little edit, a little spice things up a little bit. I steal another look at the man in front of me. He was unlike anyone I've ever seen before. His muscular body, disheveled, disheveled hair. I mean, I think we kind of put it together, but okay, if you think it's disheveled, an incredibly handsome face nearly made me gasp. <gasps> Please repeat the order for that miss whose cupcake I knocked over. Oh, just like I thought. He's a cocky rich man. He didn't even care to apologize to me. Does he think that every problem in the world can be solved with money? The entitlement. An apology would have been nice. Excuse me, an apology would have been far better. It was an accident. I didn't think it requires an apology. 
I stare at his gorgeous face waiting for him to say something. But the cocky stranger doesn't budge. I guess this is what LA is all about. I might never get an apology from him. I'm out of here. Oh. <laughs> that was not going like I planned. That did not go as expected. I was not expecting that that pathway. Can't believe I'm finally here my first ever reality show. This is only the beginning and no time I'll be writing my own shows. Everyone get to work. Our filming schedule starts a day at noon. Okay, so we're writing for the reality show. So we're going to end up on it somehow. How, we don't know. But we're going to get it this on this way somehow. If you don't move your butt, I'll be sending you home on the first day. You better hurry, sis. Get to writing. Oh, Sally's gorgeous. Oh, hey there. Welcome to the Royal Bachelor. Are you contestant number five? Me? Yeah, are you looking for the confessional room? Oh, no, we're a writer. Is she really thinks I'm a contestant? I'm on the production team. Really? Gosh, you're stunning. Sally, thank you. I, I can say the same about you, girl. We should be on the show together. Actually, I'm the new gopher. Gopher, gopher. I'm Ivory. I'm Sally. I'm a stylist here. Can you please tell me where the rest of the production team is? Thank you. Okay, this is the floor where the production team is on and all of us will be staying in the resort till the filming goes on. Looks like Rachel's busy. I can wait here with you. What do you think of the show so far? This is finally getting real. I can't wait for the filming to begin. That'll be fun. Me too. The crown prince in Northinia is a total dream, but I can't believe he agreed to do this show. Why do I think? Why do we get this little feeling? Our little customized character is the prince of Northinia. I'm thinking he is. Northenia. It's a small Nordic country between Norway and Sweden. The royal family is especially known for being really conservative. I've only watched one season of the royal bachelor. I thought the contestants were not actually royalty, but disguised models. Not much of reality TV, girl. Not quite. I actually want to write meaningful shows and movies, but we all need to start somewhere, right? That's why when I got this job, I took it in a heartbeat. Well, I must warn you, working on the set comes with a lot of drama. But I guess having the princess season will make it all worth it, even if we can't talk to him. Wow. I mean, that's a little intense. What do you mean the drama? I second that a little too intense. Working with Rachel is not easy. She takes her rules too seriously. You should be extra careful since you'll basically be her go-to girl. Oh, not us. Not the go-to girl. Like, mm -hmm. Hi, Rachel. Thanks for the tip. I want to make sure I do a good job. Where's that new Aaron girl? Uh, Rachel's asking me for me. I should get going. See you around. Good luck. Thank you. Hello. There you are. Do you already know the rules? What rules? What are these rules? Yes, I know all about them and you can trust me with every task. Great. For your first task, go and bring coffee for everyone. After that, make sure all the costumes are ready for tomorrow and then call Richard and check when the prince is landing. Coffee, costumes, call Richard. Okay. What are you waiting for? Run. Run, we about to get hit by a car with this running. I spend the day running around as Rachel's long list of tasks doesn't seem to end. By the day's end, I can barely feel my legs. Oh, we, we a little tired. What time is it? Did you oversleep? Hey, Sally. Girl, what are you? Did you forget we're all supposed to report on set at 9 a.m. every day? Uh -huh. And the filming starts today, so you should reach the resort location in an hour. Yeah, before Rachel notices that you're missing. Sally, you're a lifesaver. I'm on my way. How did I oversleep? How? 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 It's the first day. You you should have set triple alarms. Okay, we should put effort since the prince will be in set today. Sleek and all white, we can live up to the ivory namesake. But we can dress to impress in red. Ooh. Ooh, we kind of know what we want in life with this outfit. Or stay classy in blue. That's very, that's appropriate. I feel that's very work appropriate. The all white... Well, I do like it. Dress to impress. This is giving me, this is giving me she's the boss. She's giving me boss vibes. The blue office is giving me she's the perfect employee vibes. This is giving me she is the boss vibes. So we're going red. I look amazing. I rush towards Rachel's office. I know this isn't what my dream job would have looked like, but it's still my first gig in Hollywood. I will give it my 100%. Well, we're already at 90 since we're late. There you are. As the errands girl on set, you should be here before everyone else. I'm so sorry. It's just not working. None of these are going to work. I was lost. Fine, whatever. The prince and his sister in the resort, you and I will join them now. So this is all we can do the toothbrush lie. 
we're not trying to get up told up at lies we'll just lie and say we're lost oh we're lying too but at least that's more believable <laughs> yeah we must take note of everything he has to say so carry your notepad and remember when i'm not around it's your duty to make sure the prince has everything he needs okay rachel it's finally time for the big reveal i wonder what the prince of northenia looks like oh you're gonna know you're gonna know real quick this property is too big i can't walk any longer Girl, how big is this property? Are you in Ikea? Like, go and find the prince all the way here. Okay, I guess we're in Ikea because how are you tired just walking around that quick? How can I find him when I don't even know what he looks like? And there he is. There is Nicholas. I guess the apology was really important to you that you decided to track me down. Girl, turn around with a little hair flip in his face. Oh no, he's the guy from last night. Why is he here? But how did you get in? I guess the security here isn't doing such a great job. Rachel will fire me the second she gets to know about our ordeal. I should. We're not going to act like we don't remember him. Because we remember him. We remember you, Mr. Cupcake. And we don't want to keep a We're not going to warn him to keep a secret. We're not doing that. So get straight to work. Just boss it up. Excuse me, but I'm here to talk about work. Wait, what? Exactly. Now, now, where is this print? Oh, honey, you're looking at him. <laughs> Nicholas, I just got to call out our meeting with the head of production. I was just about to head into the lunch, but I ran into this mysterious stranger. Well, the print should never be late, so your mysterious stranger can wait. Wait, what? You're the prince? I told you I was waiting for the prince. Did you forget I was here? Not at all, Miss Rachel. The prince and his assistant are both here. We can start the meeting now. Um, your highness, thank you for giving me your precious time. As you know, my production house is the best in Hollywood. We're pleased you decided to make your TV debut with the Royal Bachelor. Yeah, of course. I can't believe a headhunter like Rachel is nervous around him too, I guess, as part of his princely charm. Charm. Mm, it's a bit lacking at the moment. We need to level up that a bit first. Why did I have to create such a first impression on him? I hope he lets go of what happened at the airport. It was his fault, so. Or my Hollywood career will be over before it even began. Now let me walk you through the rules. You can't leave the resort without someone from the set of company. Due to the nature of the show, social media is prohibited until filming wraps up. We're aware of all that, but we need better security among a few other things. Of course, let me look into all that for you. Hello. Um, I should get going too. I need a new pen. <laughs> I believe the one in your hand works fine. As we're left alone, Prince Nicholas steps closer to me. Are oh, you stepping closer? I get to take in his mesmerizing good looks. What's good looks? Yes. Yes. Charm. Again, we're, we're like level one in now. We, we need like a level five first. He's no doubt the most handsome man I've ever laid eyes on. He's handsome, yes, but that personality is bringing it down a notch, though. I have a feeling we're going to end up liking him. I'm positive about this, but we're, we're starting at level one. We need to level up a little bit first. From his sharp cheekbones, gorgeous eyes, he just looks perfect and unattainable. Lucky are the girls who get to participate in this show, I thought. Ivory, was it right? Right. I believe we'll be seeing each other a lot for the next month. Pretty sure you're sad about... It, considering you want nothing to do with an entitled rich guy like me. <laughs> oh no, he's talking about last night. C start fresh. We need to just... <laughs> We're trying to keep our job. Can we please view this as a fresh start? Really, but I'm going to need more convincing than that. Excuse you, you're the one who ruined our cupcake. So... She's already getting, she's already over here with butterflies in her stomach. As he said, I can't tell if he was joking or being serious. Sis... Just yesterday, you were upsetting him. And now we have butterflies on our stomach? We need to wait a little bit first. Just, just wait a little bit first. Hold, hold it up. Hold, bring it back. Bring it back a little bit first. I'm only kidding. We can start fresh. That's what I thought. Everything sounds perfect because of that accent of his. Girl, you are getting a crush way too quick for this. Ivory, let's go back to last night. Think of last night. The production team is headed over here. Your Highness, they'll begin filming. With all the heiresses, princes, and other noble ladies coming in, the rest of the morning passes by in a blink.
I finally find a moment to myself. I take my lunchbox and venture out to find a secluded spot on the resort. Oh, this is pretty. The filming location of the show is just too pretty. I should have seen more than one season. I didn't even know all the participants needed to be ladies holding some kind of- Oh, they're royalty too. Oh my. Oh, the taste of homemade food. I wish I had made a few friends on set at least. But we have our one good girlfriend. Then I wouldn't have to eat alone. Oh, Nicholas wants to join us? Mind if I join you? I almost choke on my food too when I see the prince. Or you're gonna be choking on something soon enough with the way you're going. His cold eyes giving nothing away as he takes a seat beside me. I take your silence as a yes. Oh, your highness, what are you doing here? There's no need to be so formal, Miss Ivory. I actually prefer how you treated me at the airport lounge. Oh, his light teasing gets to me as I choke on my water. Um, okay, what? Well, we're moving a little fast here. Why are you so close to me, sir? If I can smell your breath, you're too close to me. He holds my chin and stares deeply into my eyes, his face full of concern. Are you all right? Um, kind of. He's so close to me. My gaze lands on his beautiful face as I try to call my quicken breathing. Be careful, Miss Ivory. Be careful of who? You? The way my name rolls out of his tongue makes it sound like a melody. But I'm quickly reminded of the rules. If anyone were to see us like this, my job would be in danger, period. I should go. I free myself from his arms, but as I'm ready to leave, I... Oh, no, we don't. We tripping over a rock. We're falling into his arms. Its fate is just shoving these two together. His strong arms catching me, studying me before I could fall face first on the ground. I should be leaving. Instead, I'm transfixed by his mesmerizing gaze. Just then I hear some rustling that pulls me back to reality. What was that? What a perfect encounter. <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm definitely going to raise for this. Our encounter was recorded? Oh, I'm definitely getting fired. Oh, honey, no, you about to get hired period okay and we're done with the first chapter we are done let me know your thoughts and opinions should we continue this story it seems like it's gonna have some scandal and some drama in it especially because this next description does say we got fired interesting i like ivory i like the prince my only concern so far is i feel the romance like they got a little too quick it was a little too quick but i guess the stories i've been reading recently it's more of a slow burn romance so going back to like the boom fate pushed them together is a bit jarring but i'm interested i'm very interested so let me know do i continue or not but thank you so much for watching as always and i hope to see the next one bye everyone mm -hmm.